toss it or keep it on my recipes. Um, uh, I'm still going to make that uh, spear one of these days, and I also plan on buying a snake. Uh, I'm going to get a corn snake uh, in the future, so watch out for that. I uh, can't wait to feed it. It says feed it freeze frozen mice, but I'm going to feed it live mice alive. I'm going to feed it uh, so you guys can watch it grab grab its prey. Uh, also, I want to say here's a lucky key. Remember my lucky key? The key to happiness. Where I found this, I'll never know. But the key to happiness right there. I'm going to save it. I don't know. It's uh, Lo and behold, I think it's um, real silver. My first beer today. Go figure, I didn't even have a fetish beer. Just to show you guys, prove to you guys I'm serve safe, especially at Rio. Right there, buddy. Right there, pal. Surf safe, certified. You know, and uh, the thing is, though, um, you know, it's, the examination was May 21st, 2009. It says it expired May 21st, 2014. So it was only good for five years. So it expired in 2014. So I might as well throw it away. What good is it now? But that just goes to show you, I'm surf safe. Right there, buddy. And I've worked in over 15 kitchens, and uh, been cooking since I was nine or ten. So, no, oh, buddy, I have a little bit of a challenge right here, pal. And get right down to it, right down the nitty gritty. Got to pull out a recipe here. Um, pull out a recipe really soon, really quick. No time to waste. By the way, it says um, passing score was 75. Um, overall point score 69. Overall score was 80. Um, I got I scored a 69, and the perfect point score was 80. So I was like 11 off. Training employees, really. I mean, it all was above the board, across the board, so I did fairly well. 2009 National Food Restaurant Association Educational Foundation, all rights reserved. And eh, you too shabby, but uh, took the test. My exam date was May 21st, 2009. The class number was 756005. I'm gonna throw it away. Well, I uh, don't really need it, uh, so. Where's my list here? I'm going to go ahead and... If I don't like this, I have so many different recipes everywhere. I'm, if I don't like it, I'm going to throw it away. Um, so... Uh, this Heineken open here. What am I doing? Close my eyes. Baby, me, my mo. Do this one. Go over. I said if I don't like it, then it's going to be trash. Ah, got rattlesnakes too, guys. Um, <clears throat> being that I never had it, that I 
respect. Well, I would. It's exotic, but uh. Okay. Um. Okay, what we do is we get two pounds of rattlesnake beet meat. We get onion, celery, stewed tomato, potatoes. So it's starting to sound like it's like, and then it says stern wine, so it's almost like a jambalaya or gumbo almost right now. Soy sauce, dill freshly snipped, bay leaves, chicken broth, flour, and peanut oil. So does the snake get deep fried and breaded? So we do the fry the snake meat until it's brown. Uh, so of course, do a heavy skillet on medium uh, with peanut oil. Uh, dredge a snake meat in the flour. It says, bring the chicken broth to a boil, add the vegetables, soy sauce, wine, then add the snake meat. Simmer for an hour, serve hot. So it's a stew. So you get the flavors of the wine, you get that little salty soy sauce effect. The bay leaves, chicken broth, the flour, and the uh, celery, and onion, uh, and tomatoes. Um, so uh, I would add salt to it. I don't see no salt on here. Well, it says salt to taste, okay. Um... I'd add cayenne pepper to make it a little spicy, or add a dash of uh, Tabasco sauce to improve it. Um, uh, fresh garlic, because I love garlic. There is no garlic in here. Um, I'd get rid of the, uh, eliminate the dill, because we're not talking fish. Rattlesnake is not fish. Um, instead of dill, I would use probably, um, let's see. Thyme. Yeah, I would use thyme. Um, no need for the bay leaves. I mean, it, it would be good to add it because you don't actually eat the bay leaves. Um, I would serve it um, with baked or um, potato halves roasted with uh, red peppers. Um, along the side with it with um, rice, some wild rice, and a little side salad. That's just how I would do it. But, uh, that's that. Um, I am not going to keep this um, for necessary certain reasons. Although I got it from xrecipes.com June 1st of 2008. Throwing it away. Um, it's not likely I'm going to have rattlesnake anytime soon. And if I did it, I would just fucking fillet it over the pan salt, pepper, a little garlic, oil, um, dash of Tabasco sauce, maybe a little tomato on the side, a little kale or uh, spinach, um, <coughs> with, um, Ritz crackers. I ain't gonna go for all that extra, you know, extra, <coughs> extra chop suey, all that extra goop. I don't need it. Thanks for watching, uh, by the way, um, I'm going to keep eliminating, um, I'm going to keep eliminating recipes, but there is, I'm, I'm going to stay partial. By the way, um, check this out, 50 free firecrackers, oh yeah, if you shop at that certain spot. That you, you know, I got this, um, thing I found, it's a food pairing, like, uh, uh, food and wine pairing guide. It's kind of interesting. Basically, you can tell it goes through. Um, some of these I can't pronounce. Grenache, Grenache, Merlot. I can't pronounce some of these. But basically, all you do is you um, you move this thing here. Like there's arrows, so it points to Pinot Grigio. So right here is Pinot Grigio. You flip it over here, and then it says it goes good with. Um, says the temperature what it should be says it's um medium or dry it says it goes what good with um where is it oh d -d 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 -d. where's the food serving ideal serving temperature okay and then right here on this side it has a shaded area right here so it says it's uh goes good with pasta or pesto sauce um, we're talking about Pinot Grigio so I go over to um, Riesling or Riesling and it says it's good with Indian curry um, 
Champagne also is good with Indian curry and then it says the right temperature. Um, okay, well that's it. I'm going to keep this thing later, guys. And I found my dog tags from the Army. Um, medical relief. It has my social. I can't show you it has my social on it, but it says my name right there. So Hot potato. And I got my own. That's ironic. But I had a crab um crab recipe yesterday I did and uh this one says hot crab dip. Oh wait a second. It's crab, this was shrimp, this is crab. Never mind. 